in rebuilds and career mode in general, it's always about young wonder kids, talents that can go up in ratings. Oh, I bought Xavi Simmons and he turned up to a 95. Oh, I bought Mbappe and he got to a 99. Not today. We are diving in into a rebuild with Palermo in the Serie B. And the only reason for it is, it's right next to me. As you can see on their kit, if you can't even say it, see it, it says old on the shirt. That is exactly what today is about. Today, we are bringing youth back to the old players in the game. Every single time we sign a player, he has to be on the older side. And on top of it, there is a chance of youth. Once again, they can restart their careers at a younger age in this rebuild. But there's a catch. And that catch, my friends, is the wheel that you see on your screen right now. This beautiful wheel, if I press it every time after we purchase a player, it will spin and it will give us a result. And that three years means that we can go ahead and make that player younger by just three years. But this is only a one-time thing every time we buy a player. Let me show you. Right there, it does say retire, which means and if we get that, any player that we sign, we have to instantly retire them. And that money is completely wasted. Since we are starting off with a team in the Serie B, we will not be given a huge budget to start with. So obviously, 7 million is okay, but we will need more money. But the good thing is, older players tend to be a lot cheaper. So that's a good one for us. Now, there will be a rule that we will set ourselves as we go ahead and start rebuilding. Any player we buy that goes into this team has to be someone that is at the age of 30 or above at the start of this career mode. Even if we are five seasons in, they would have had to be at least 30 years old at the beginning of season one, just so you know. So let's see how we're going to be rebuilding this Palermo squad, what we can get out of this team. I'm excited about it. And with the 7 million, I guess... I personally would love to start off with a goalkeeper because, you know, old goalkeepers tend to be very cheap on this game. Starting off with what feels like the forever goalkeeper of Werder Bremen. And the good thing with the old players is they tend to have real faces as well. So this is going to be fun. Lads, we're going to go ahead and sign him right now. Let me show you how much I actually spent on him. He's coming in into the club for around 2.95 million, which is still a big chunk of our budget. But... It is necessary. He will be walking straight into the starting 11 at the age of, let me show you, 31. Now, if we can get 10 years on this spin, this would be nuts. So here is the first ever spin. What's it going to be? Come on, please. No. Oh, yes. <laughs> that would have been horrible. I thought retire was coming in instantly. Five years younger. That means he goes from 31 to 26. And he can be here probably until the end of the career mode, hopefully. Our next signing is Mattia Nastasic. Used to be a massive talent on FIFA. One of the highest potential center backs, now 30 years old. His career did not go the way people expected it to. But lads, he comes in now straight away into our starting 11 as a 75 rated left footed 30 year old, six foot two tall Serbian. And that is here. The question is here, I should say. How many years? How many years younger? Please, 10. Please, 10. Let me completely restart the career of this man. <gasps> no, please, bro. I don't have any more money. I'm basically done. I need to sell players to make this happen now. I need to retire him. I thought that was going to be it. We're starting off horribly. Liverpool is currently playing against Manchester City as well. So I'm watching the game on the screen. I'm hyped. I'm like instantly putting in a last man tackle against Phil Foden. Very important. This, my friends, is the next signing I'm making. I saw a couple of players. Our team is getting weaker and weaker as we speak. But this is Jenna. This man, as far as I remember, has mad pace. Dakonam Jenna for 6 million. Yes, that is such a huge investment. So please, lad. Don't drop down a rating. I need you. I need you to be here in that position. 68 pace only. Okay, he used to have a lot more. All right, I might be remembering it wrong, but here we go. Okay, no more retire. Just give me something nice. Three years. Okay, so he's 31. He goes down to 28, which is fine for now. At least for us to get into Serie A, that will be good enough. Well, sadly, Liverpool is currently losing 35 minutes in. I'm sad, but I still believe in my team to make a comeback. But 
our team doesn't need to make a comeback. Palermo at the top, 76 points with the two old men joining us and becoming a bit more youthful in their careers. Things are looking good. So what do we do from this point on? We are looking at a team with a Pavlenko who's gone up to a 77, Jeddah up to an 80. He's now 29 already. So maybe like two or possibly three more years out of him. We'll see how that goes. But going up into the Serie A, I fully assume that we will have a great opportunity to go ahead and spend money. And these are the players that did well for us. Congratulations to all of them. But most of these guys will be replaced. Obviously, at some point, I want to bring in absolute legends into this team. But even though they are old, they still cost quite a bit. So let's go into the Serie A and see how things go. And here is the first big man. How am I doing? A rebuild where older players can get, get younger without signing Mario Balotelli. I mean, signing him alone would make this 10 times more fun. So Mario Balotelli joins us for just 2.7 million. He goes straight at the top of this team. Him being Italian fits really well. And at this stage, he's obviously a bit older, has gone up to 33 years old. So we have to counteract that. Every year that we go ahead and play, every single season we surpass, we will be adding one year onto the wheel to still keep these players on a level where they are actually usable. So we have upgraded the years by one. Retire is still there. I'm still scared. This one, I desperately need not to retire. Give me 11 years, please. Four, I'll take four. I guess that makes him 29. Up next is Christian Tello. I still remember the days, or Teo, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but I still remember the days where he was coming through at Barcelona, basically, if, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was Barca. And now he apparently plays in Saudi. He's a left winger who was always kind of known for his pace, but didn't really have that much end product. So now we're going to revive his career. He comes in with possibly a 74 rating, Lots of pace still at the age of 32. Well, let's see about that, pal. Is it actually going to be 32? Six years. I'll take that. That makes him now 26 years old. Yep, there you go. Six years. I still remember the days where this guy was one of the most exciting players in the Premier League. Yep, that is Oscar, the Brazilian that went to China and never came back. But... As he said many times before, he basically wanted to wanted to shore up the future of his family and he went for the cash. And that is respectable at the end of the day. So he is coming in as a 78 rated player who goes up by a lot when he becomes a center attack in mid. And he's 32 years old. Please, can I have my first 10 years now? Please, please, please. If it's going to retire. No. Nah, man. Nah, I'm done. I'm actually done. I spent so much money on this transfer. 10.6 million plus a player worth 2.2. Oh, Scott, I'm going to have to let him go, bro. My entire budget is gone. Oh, this is painful. This is so freaking bad. I literally just spent my last penny on this transfer. This, my friends, is Remy Cabea. This is a talented player joining us right now. Instead of Oscar, 3.25 million. I don't have a penny left. I have to sell players. He comes in at a rating of 76. And you know what? I need to, I need to do this quick because as I spin this wheel, the one, the one, nah. We can't have to retire back to back, guys. That's not going to happen. That is not a thing. Let's go ahead and spin it again. And we get eight years. Okay. Because retire can only happen once. Otherwise, this rebuild is never going to work. So eight years we have been given right here, which is huge. And Liverpool is about to take a penalty against Manchester City. So I am hyped. I believe in you, Maka. Make us believe. Yes! McAllister scores! Get in there! Yes! By the way, Kabea goes from 34 to 26, just so you know. The game between Liverpool and Manchester City ended 1-1. I personally believe we should have had a penalty. Doku kicking McAllister in the last minutes, but hey... We didn't lose, Anfield was insane, and right now, Hector Herrera is joining us. A midfielder that could take our team to the next level. I was able to sell on a couple of players, hence why we are able to bring him into the squad right now. I'm looking to bring him in instead of that Saric guy. He has such well-rounded stats, but he is 34 years old. So, let's see how this goes. Please, don't retire. 11 years? 
Yes! He's gonna be insane! He is going to be absolutely insane. He goes down to 23 years old, which with those stats is going to be insane. He's going to be our best player. I'm telling you right now. Off we go into the next transfer. I was able to sell another player to make this happen. Daily Blint, the beast from Girona, is joining us right now at the age of 34. Yes, lads, he is old. 4 million we paid for this one. He comes in with a rating of... 77 if i'm not mistaken and that oh 78 okay that is lovely no actually 77 two left footed no one right footed one left footed center back 33 pace on the man 34 years old all right then here goes nothing how many years is it gonna be this time four uh okay we're only taking him down to 30. Our first season in the Serie A has come to an end and Palermo is in that ninth position, my friends, which is impressive. 62 points, only two points off of seventh. I'm very pleased with that. Napoli have won the league. Just wait until our lads get there. That first position, I'm excited about it. The prospect of it is really something I'm thinking about right here. And Balotelli is up to a 78. We have Cabea up to a 79. We have Tello up to a 77. Herrera, 79. This guy, Gomez, by the way, has just been growing by himself, which is lovely. Jenna, 82. Daily Blint, 80. And by the way, of course, as these players get younger, there's a lot more potential in them. So that's a good thing. And Pavlenka up to an 80. He is now 28. Hopefully, I will never have to buy another goalkeeper. But I need to focus on the other positions and just avoid having to retire players ever again. Bro, that's painful. So... Stats-wise, Alotelli. That's what we love to see. Keep going, pal. Your boy has brought in a world champion for 12 million. That man is Angel Di Maria. Yes, I brought him in just now. He's 37 years old. Lads, this is a big one. Him being 37, I need something absolutely massive from the wheels. So, off we go. What's it gonna be? 12 years. Yes. It's the best possible outcome on this one. He is joining us right now. And he is 25 years old again. This is insane. Up next, I'm signing the left back. That was a huge talent at first, then moved to Manchester United. And since then, his career has kind of gone down. That seems like the career path of too many players. But here comes Alex Teyes. Yes, this man at Porto was special. He was incredible. And uh, people wanted him in their teams. And now he is part of our team. Coming in at the age of, I believe, 32? Something like that? Yes. So if we can get a good spin here, this could be huge. So here it goes. Good luck, please. Ah, nine would have been insane, but I'll take five. That makes him 27 years old now. Season's done and we are looking at Palermo in the top seven. I wonder if that gets you Conference League football in Italy. I assume so. Juventus have won the league. We have done really well. The old lads are performing the way we want it to be. Balotelli now 31 years old. He is getting too old. Hopefully he can keep going for at least like two, maybe three seasons. But the rest of the team looks solid as ever. We need to make a new signing into that right back position. That is for sure. But let's take a look into the stats here and realize that Balotelli is leading the line still with Tello coming in with the 18 and 9. Cabea doing well. Di Maria doing well. That's... I need big money. And now getting seventh might help with that. Well, my friends, I am bringing in a new right back into the team. It's Jonathan Claus joining us. That is the right back I wanted. He is coming in with a rating of 80 or 79, which is going to be fine. And he is at the age of 33, which is a great thing. As we go to spin the freaking wheel, do not dare to give me retirement. Yes, it's six years. I will take that. That makes him now 27 years old, if I'm not mistaken. And now it is time to bring in a multiple time Champions League winner. Real Madrid's Casemiro. I'm not even going to say Manchester United's Casemiro because the one they have is not the same. This man could be huge for us as we bring him into the team. One on the older side, of course, 27 million spent on him. But the good thing is, once we sell him, we can uh, once we use him, we can sell the current CDM, which is a youngster who's now worth 86 million, by the way. But 
Let's go ahead and put Casemiro right in there instead of Gomez. Gomez, for whatever reason, is worth 86 mil, which means we can bank in a lot of cash off of him. Casemiro now coming in at the age of 34. How many years? Please don't retire. Please don't retire. This is my chance. Turn! Let's go! He's 24 again. Well, my friends, I did sell Gomez. He's gone for 115 million and I signed Lionel Messi. Yep, I signed him. And you might be asking yourself, oh, why didn't you show the, the moment where he walked into the club? That would have been sick. Well, it was sick. I even made a joke like, oh, I'm signing some random guy called Lionel Maisie or something like that. Not even funny. And, you know, here we are. I didn't have that clip now for you. And I actually feel so upset because it's the biggest moment of this freaking rebuild. And there he is, lads. Lionel Messi at the age of 30 freaking 9. This wheel needs spinning badly and needs to stop at 13, not 6. Okay, he's now going to be 33 years old. But seeing that he played until 39, maybe there's hope that we can still get something out of him. It is time for an upgrade in a goalkeeping position. Yep, it just had to happen. I am bringing in Andre Ter Stegen. And this one was quite cheap. It was a straight swap with Pavlenka, which is amazing. Uh, obviously, because Ter Stegen is on the older side, this was, a, uh, this was a possibility. Now, if I do end up getting retire on this spin of the wheel, this is going to ruin my day because he would be the perfect player for us. He's currently 34 years old. Let's spin the wheel and see what we get. 10 years. That's it. He is now... 24 years old. You can't just bring in a top goalkeeper. You got to bring in the best defender. Virgil van Dijk, thank you for being over the age of 30. Because this is the perfect opportunity for him to walk straight into our starting 11. And take our game to the next level. Normally, I would never buy these players. Hence why I'm really enjoying myself with this video so far. He comes in with a rating of... Oops, sorry. Hold on. Where the hell is he? There he is. Oh, he's out on internationals. He is coming in with an 87 rating, 35 years old. And the big question is, what happens with the wheel? Don't retire. Eight years. Eight years for Virgil van Dijk, which means he becomes 27 years old now. As much as I like Balotelli, it is time for an upgrade. Antoine Griezmann is walking into the club. Let's go, buddy. Ah, oh, mate, please, please, I need you to actually get a massive like, uh, what's it called? Downgrade in age, because this could be a big one for us. He walks into the club at the same rating as Balotelli, so keep that in mind. He can turn into a backup player. 54 pace on the guy, 35 years old. Here's the spin, please. Eight years. Eight years again! Antoine Griezmann now is 27 as well. Lads, I have a question for you. What do you get if you go ahead and get yourself some of the best players in world football and make them younger? Well, you get yourself the first position. Palermo, Serie A title. Let's go. Massive. So, 84 points on a team. Just one point difference in goal difference. But I believe in the Serie A, they are rocking um, the direct comparison. But that is our first big trophy. Now, seemingly... We are part of the Euro uh, Europe Conference League final. I had no idea. I wasn't paying attention. So let's go ahead and win this, please. Come on then, lads. Let's get it done against PSV Eindhoven up against Dortmund in the Champions League, a game that I'm actually going to. And we win 3-2. Tello Griezmann. Griezmann. Yes, Grizu. I love that. So, lads, we have made the right decisions. We have won a European trophy and a Serie A title. And this is our team. Griezmann up top. Lionel Messi in the camp position. Cabela up to an 88. Tello. Why is Tello on the right? Where the hell is Di Maria? I'm going to bring him back. Don't you worry. Uh, Herrera. Casemiro looking very, very good there. Our defense looks good. Testegan on a 90. This team, just because of the international reputation that these players have, they are doing so freaking well. It's gonna. It's not going to take me to get these guys to a 90 rating to be able to win a Champions League trophy. So that's a beautiful thing. But I actually do wonder, who the hell stole Di Maria? I'm going to get him back. Real Madrid? Really? Ha! Okay, he's coming back. Don't you worry about that one. Let me go ahead and take a look into the stats right here. We are looking at 30 goals from Griezmann. We have Herrera with 21 and 7. Cabela with 16 and 19. Where the hell is Messi? 
54 games and you only managed to get two goals and three assists. Not my goat. I'm joking. He actually is my goat. Going from playing Manchester United to playing Park and just barely getting past them is not 6-5 to then beat the likes of Napoli and move into the Champions League final. That is incredible. We have done it. We have lost in a cup final though. Okay, I see that. Oh, hold on. We lost against AC Milan in a cup final. And now we're playing them in the Champions League final. Palermo, this is the team. Oh, come on. Van Dijk has a red freaking card. Oh, that sucks. We will have to play Daily Blint here alongside Jenna. Van Dijk is out and Balotelli is red carded. Oh, well. This is going great. Now, Messi has dropped down in rating. He's 84 rated now. Griezmann, 87. Capella, 91. Di Maria back in the squad with a 90. Herrera, Casemiro, an incredible partnership there. Klaus on the right-hand side. We have Tellez on that, 88. And then, obviously, defensively looking strong with Tess Dagen in there. I am hoping that the attack can make the difference here because I am a bit worried with Daily Blind coming in there instead of Van Dijk, that I am going to be letting a lot of chances come through. Let's take a look at the squad, though. We made it to the Champions League final. And in the Serie A, no, sorry, Super Cup we lost. Serie A, second place. AC Milan, massive gap. Okay, so they must have a really, really good team. I'm a bit scared right now. But, stats-wise, Cristian Tello? What? Oh, he must have played instead of Messi then. Oh, 26 and 3. This man has the camp position as well. So he played instead of Messi, I assume. Abella with the 23 and 11. Griezmann 19 and, 20, uh, 19 and 21. Herrera doing really well. Teres doing well. Casemiro, good stuff. Messi, where you at? He only has one goal and two assists. Minus two rating. I'm still going to be starting him going into this game. You bet your bottom dollar on that. Now, we're going to go ahead and put Teto in there onto the bench. Balotelli, I will, will not have fit, but I will put this center back in there. And that guy will not get playtime in my team. We are not dealing with that again. Okay, so let's get it on. It is time to play against AC Milan. Oh, and AC Milan are rocking. Quite a strong team, by the way. Very good. AC Milan knows we have a bunch of old players who don't have pace and we are lacking Van Dijk at the back. Their solution has to be to sprint through like they do right now with Rafa Leal. Surely that's going to be one of their tactics. We got to be aware of it. Cabela looking for his other Frenchman. Beautiful run from Antoine Griezmann who takes... No chance he actually scored that. That's what you get though with the older players. Their abilities on the ball, passing, shooting, that type of stuff is ridiculous. And Griezmann right there, how does he score that? I genuinely felt like that went through that number three. I mean, that is a ridiculous finish. Di Maria up close. Di Maria sits one down, whips the cross in. Leo Messi, what are you doing? Cabela looking for Griezmann. Oh, what a pass again. Cabela, you're my favorite. Griezmann, Trivella. It's a repetition of the first goal. It might say old on the shirt, but these guys are young at heart and they want to win the trophy. And they might actually pull it off with Griezmann. His horrible celebration. Skip that. McAllister on the free kick. I think they're going to go short. Oh, no. He's going to actually shoot. Oh, that's a good one. Di Maria taking a sweet time with this one. Lovely move by Di Maria. These man should have reacted into Messi. Messi! Oh, beautiful try. Ah, that's a bad tackle. I need a better one from Klaus, and I'm getting it. He's on a yellow card, so it's a bit risky. But it's fine. Now, Milan coming through with... Beautiful passing play up until that moment where whoever that was up top decided to, you know what, ruin the attack. Here we go, though. Messi asking for the ball. Gets it. Finds Griezmann again. He wants a third. And he gets a third. Antoine Griezmann scoring off of an assist from Leo Messi. That actually could happen in Inter Miami. Honestly, I do strongly believe that Griezmann is going to the MLS one day. And he will probably end up playing alongside Messi if he's still there by the time Griezmann comes. What the? Oh, 
Oh my God. Get out of here. Three one and A's, no clean sheet. I was just confused as to what's happening there. Oh wow, what a freaking cross. Testegan, if that goes in, we are in a bad spot. But thanks to him, it's still a two goal lead. That's me conceding again, isn't it? Yep, it is. It's actually 3-2. I don't know what the hell is going on here, lads. <laughs> if they make a comeback on a three-goal loss, that, yeah, that's going to drive me insane. Only a couple of minutes left here. We do not have to score just one minute of added time, which means it should be done here. It should be done. Griezmann inside. Into Kabea, and that's it. Ref, blow the whistle. Give us that trophy. Yes, we did it. Well, Leo Messi is not the one lifting the trophy. It's going to end up being Jenna. Yes, one of the earlier players that we have brought into the team. I think Van Dijk would have been the captain if uh, he wasn't injured. But anyways, Jenna lifts it. Congratulations to the old lads who got the opportunity to be young again. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. Appreciate all of you. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. And peace.